Hello homeowners, Brian Schweitke here, realtor and creator of the Stay or Go Homeowner System. And today's puzzle piece, unfortunately, is about if an owner or a co-owner passes away. And I understand no one's prepared for that. There's a lot of questions. There's a lot of actions to be taken. There's some big consequences and there's a right way and a wrong way of doing things. So I'm very sorry for your loss. I wanna make sure you do things correctly. So let's get prepared, okay? Some questions. Was there a trust or was there just a will? If there was a trust, then the successor trustee will just carry out the terms of the trust. You're fine, everything's spelled out. If there wasn't a trust and there was only a will, we're in trouble. We've gotta go through probate. We can't sell the house until we get approval from the probate courts. And I wanna make sure you're hiring a probate attorney. Do it the right way. There is a lot of pieces of that puzzle, I'm telling you. A lot of things you have to do exactly right. The timing has to be correctly. You gotta to go to court. You gotta do lots of things. Don't try and do it on yourself, okay? Next thing, question for yourself. Is it going, is the property gonna get a full step up in basis or just a partial step up in basis? And we learned this in a previous puzzle piece called holding title correctly and getting a step up in basis. So you're only gonna get a partial step up in basis if you're holding title as tenants in common or joint tenancy. Find out how you're holding title, watch that video, be proactive and make changes before something happens. Lastly, you're gonna ask yourself, should I stay or should I go? Okay, I'm gonna ask you, can you? And then I'm gonna ask you, how do you know for sure? And really, I know I'm partial, but I think the only way to know for sure if you can stay or you should go is by taking the stay or go homeowner class. That's the stuff we learn. And you can find information on that stayorgohomeowner.com, okay? So there's some questions for you. Next thing I want you to do is go out and get this book. It's called When Someone Dies. It's written by Scott Taylor Smith. It has taught me so much. It goes from the very beginning, even before the beginning, to the very end. Checklists, tells you everything you need to do, where to go, who to talk to. It's an invaluable book. You're gonna love it. Okay, so there's three action items I have for you, okay? First action item is you need to have an appraisal upon death. So when the person passes away, you need to know how much that property was worth on that day. Now, whether it was six months ago, a year ago, or 10 years ago, you need to order a backdated appraisal upon death so that they can tell you what the home was worth and that's your new basis, okay? If when they passed, it was worth 500,000, that's your new basis, okay? Next thing you wanna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to clear title. If there was two people on title, you're gonna to wanna to get that deceased person off title because when you go to sell the property and there's two names on title and you show up at the title company to sign the final documents and only one person is there, it's gonna hold the whole process up. So be proactive there and clear title with the title company. I can help you with that if you need help. Last thing I want you to do is to revisit your estate plan or look at that trust and make sure everything is still the same. All the decisions are the same. Things do change when people pass. So make sure you're getting with your estate planner or at the least review the trust on your own, okay? All right, well, that's about it. And I hope you learned a lot. And uh, if you need any help, you can always get a hold of me at stayorgohomeowner.com. Until next time, thanks for learning and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.